You're watching News for Today. Well, uh, March is Women's History Month, and we are highlighting women who are breaking gender barriers and taking on jobs in what's often being considered a man's field, construction. Yeah, that's right. News Force Megan McGrath takes us to a work site on the grounds of Virginia Hospital Center, where women there are leaving their mark. Historically, the construction industry has been dominated by men. But take a closer look these days, and you'll also see female faces on the work site. Once the precast is complete, women breaking gender barriers to find satisfying careers in construction. In the 23 years that I've been doing what I do, I started and I typically was the only woman, and now I'm seeing 15 or 20 people. The last job I came off of, we had a foreman for the Glazers. We had women that were set in steel. Uh, we had women that were hanging drywall. Women currently make up about 10% of the construction job force. Among them, Amanda Mahan. She never envisioned going into construction when she was in engineering school, but an internship changed her course. She's now a project engineer with Skanska. I love it. I think that there's so many opportunities for women that maybe weren't there before that are now. Some days maybe I'm wearing a blazer in the morning at a meeting and then in the afternoon I've got mud on my pants from walking the site with a foreman. So it's really the most dynamic industry I think when it comes to that. While it is more common to see women on the work site, they are still outnumbered. But Chelsea Parker says that shouldn't hold women back. These men are very, very respectful, respectful and it's just everybody's friendly, everybody tries to help. The opportunities are there. The skill set that you know women bring to the construction industry has been a plus. In Arlington, Megan McGrath, News 4.